Hi everyone, it's here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got some completions to show you and I've also got an unpacking to show you from paintsomewear.com. Um, I've had quite a few packages from them in the past and they asked me would I like some more products to show on the channel and I said yes of course because I've absolutely loved doing these and I love showing you all new products as well. So before we get into this, let's have a look at what I've been up to. So I have got my cup done. Uh, so yep, yeah, this was the plastic tumbler, uh, which is absolutely wonderful. So let's just open this up. And then this has been completed, look. So yeah, plenty of gems left over. It went down easily. Uh, it will bend round really easily as well. Now I've been thinking about the ceiling of this. Um, it is very sticky on the edge here, which I've not realised before. And I do think that that is possibly where you need to wrap it round and seal it there. It has got like its own sort of sticky to keep it together there. That's why I've still got the little cover sheet on to stop that from getting fluff and bits on it. But what I've been thinking is I got the outdoor Mod Podge and I do think possibly that that will do really well on these. So I might give it a go. Um, and use that. I have got that ceiling video still to do and I've got quite a few different ones to try now. So they have all now arrived so I will get like that comparison of the sealers to do for you. Uh, so I'm going to give that a try on this uh, as I say because I think the waterproof, well the outdoor one will possibly be waterproof. Uh, well it would need to be in the UK anyway if it's going outdoors so fingers crossed. I have had a lady, I'm sorry I can't remember your name but thank you for your comment um she did say that she used it on some garden ornaments the uh, mod podge and it's still outside two years later and everything is still okay so i'm fingers crossed that this will work and it will be okay on these as well and if it does uh, then that's uh, a great little tip to be able to use these and not worry about them obviously don't put them in a dishwasher or anything um well certainly not the outside part anyway but yeah i think they look super I think they're really, really good. I mean, there's quite a bit of space here, uh, particularly on this one. If you wanted, if somebody's got a short name, I mean, if you've got a long name like Elizabeth, uh, then you're not going to fit that there. But you could quite easily get Liz on there. So you could have your own personalised little cup. Um, and Hubby's name is quite short as well. So I could do one for him. And then once it's completed, you just pop that in there. And it's a lovely little cup. Uh, what did I do? Yeah, these are all the gems that are left over. Look, <laughs> all popped inside. I haven't got any DMC codes for them. They will just go in my generic um, donation box. So yeah, let me know if you are needing any for um, your club or society or whatever or charity uh, or just for yourself. Um, as long as it's this country. Uh, yeah, it'd be quite expensive to send them all abroad. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so that's all those left over. So thank you, Paint Some Way. That was a, a real treat to get. Really love it. Uh, it's 16 fluid ounces, which is 470 millilitres, if you're wanting to know the size of it. So yeah, I've got quite a few of those that I will be getting. They are on the way, hopefully. Right now then, what bag is that? I don't know what gems that one's come from. That's obviously another project I've done and I've got that stuck with this. And then I've done my other tree, bush, whatever you like to call it. Um, if you remember from paint somewhere, I did get the big like um, blossom bush, big blossom tree and it was fantastic. And I'm still trying to get a frame for it. Sadly, the frame I wanted uh, from the lady I get them from um, is out of stock. So I've been looking round, but I think I might wait for the ladies to get them back in stock again and order this one at the same time. But it's just come out. Oh, I, I've loved doing it. I did all my black first. Then I did all of the gold, yellowy gold beads, the small standard size crystals beads next. And then I had one tray with the little round silvers in and one tray with the little teardrops in, the gold teardrops. And I just went along and did all those at the same time. So look at the sparkle on that though. It's absolutely gorgeous, love it. 
come out so well no problem with sticky um as long as i'm putting them in the frame they're not going to need to be uh, sealed or anything like that they can just go straight on the wall yeah. to be honest you could just put it on a uh, foam board and uh, just put it on the wall like that but i do think just a small black frame just a few millimeters of a black frame just going round it uh, we'll just seal it and the frames I get have actually got perspex covers as well so it makes them a lot lighter going on the wall and then I just use command strips to put everything up these days um, I very rarely hammer a nail into anything anymore not that I'm any good at DIY so <laughs> but yeah it was just the uh, four different gems and colours uh, this was the only bag I could find that was near me when I started doing it because it was a definite late night deciding i need to do a diamond painting what can i do i'll do something small and then i picked out this one so it did take me a couple of hours to do but i loved doing it just really really enjoyed doing it so it was six dollars 99 say from paint somewhere i have got an unboxing on it uh, i think it was the video before the last one on paint somewhere if you look in my playlist so that's all my standard black i've got left that's the gold we've got left there in the standard gems and then our special drills look we've got those gorgeous teardrops and those lovely they're actually around like a half sphere a semi-sphere i think they're called i'm sure i heard something like that the other day um where it's like a uh, no facets on it just half a crystal ball <laughs> so yeah and then just my little labels that i like to keep for my log book so i will get all those put away as well uh, i will be doing a video on on putting away all my special drills we'll sit and have a bit of a chat uh, doing that i think that's probably the easiest thing because i have done a lot of specials uh, over the last few months because i've just really enjoyed doing them okay so i will put this one out of the way again huge thank you paintsomeway.com i absolutely love them and i really as i say enjoyed doing that one i think the gray sort of wall type background just really makes this stand out but it looks really 3d i love it when they sort of like they come at you they sort of stand out rather than just being a flat drawing a flat painting i just love that wonderful wonderful colors so it will be getting framed as i say i've just had a bit of delay on my frames because they have been out of stock but i will be getting them because i've got places that i want to put these so they will definitely be going on the wall okay right so let's have a look and see what we got this time so we have oh a diamond painting we have a packet and we have another diamond painting Yay! what should we look at first let's look at the packet first because we don't know what's in this one Woo! right scissors 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 where are my new butterfly scissors that i got oh, with the little ho uh, holder on look so where's the opening let's uh slice it along here oh i think you can get a sneak peek of what it is but i want to try and keep this bag so that if i've got giveaways and little surprise packages for people i do like to recycle and reuse packaging oh this looks good right so we have a special drill project oh surprise surprise it's a liz unboxing you wouldn't expect anything less but this is like a stained glass window effect of sunflowers and yes i am going to say it, this is bigger than i expected <laughs> so it's your acrylic uh, is this a backing on here yep yeah, that's a backing on there so that will peel off the back so it will be like a clear back they're just like dust and scratch covers really that they put on um like a layer of like just thin plastic uh just to stop the scratches and everything on them uh similar to your cover that goes on the front really uh, but obviously it has to cover everything and then this is your drill area look at that very very clear so yeah none of the outside edge has got any sticky or gems to go on it and then the background this blue background doesn't have any gems on it so it's not sticky and then it is literally just where the glue is where the numbers and letters are that you're going to be putting your gems 
and that glue the precision putting that glue on that is amazing i'm just looking at it sort of from an angle and looking at it you know there's hardly any glue overlapping at all sometimes when you get these projects they just put the glue over the whole thing and then you have to put sealer on it to stop it to, from getting all fluff and bits on it after you've completed it but no this that does say it's practically on top of it it looks like somebody's had a paintbrush and just gone over that i'm not quite sure how they do it but that is amazing the way that they've got the precision popping that glue on there so yeah it looks like we've got quite a few different colors there's number one going all the way around the edge and then we've got some special shapes with the sunflowers or the daisies they might be there or small sunflowers possibly but i just thought that was real nice and summery looks like we've got a, a good size chain in here as well with your pen boat and wax okay oh some jump rings there as well look to keep your uh, chain on so i don't know why we've why have we got jump rings then ah right i see yeah you're going to need is there only three yeah we've got one spare so we've got the three they're quite a nice large size jump ring as well because i think even though these are the lovely lobster claw clasps i don't believe that they're going to go through there no the two were narrow uh, an opening to go actually onto your little uh, hook there to put through the little hole to put through there so you put your jump rings on first and then you attach your chain to your jump rings so it's just like a curb chain very nice okay let's give all of this a quick measure see how long this chain is uh, i found scotty dog tape measure again i do have three of these now and i still can only find the one at the moment so if you see one lying around let me know <laughs> uh, this is about 19 inches which is about 48 centimeters long so that's a pretty good size for a chain but again if you don't want to use the chain you don't have to you can always set uh, just put your command strip on the back or you can put a knot in your chain or just put um a little jump ring in your chain just to make it sort of a little bit shorter if you don't want it dangling down quite so much do it that way liz nobody can see you when you do it that way <laughs> right so this is a lovely oval size so the width is uh, 19 centimeters which is seven and a half inches by the length of it is about 25 20 yeah 25 centimeters which is about nine and three quarter inches i should know that one shouldn't i i say it often enough when i'm doing 30 by 30 paintings right so let's have a look at these special gems oh it looks like we've got uh, an ab coated gem okay wow so what have we got one two three four five six seven eight nine different gems and colors very pretty okay so oh we've got purple oh, i wouldn't have expected that color ah now then the purple's going around the edge oh that's different then so we've got this sort of like grapey purpley color going all the way around the edge of the uh, design okay and we've got oh this is gorgeous it's black with the green uh, aurora borealis coating it's an iridescent coating that just goes on top of the normal gem and it gives it extra sparkle and then we've got this lovely limey green and a nice darkish grass green so that's your leaves that contrast then we've got a very very pale sort of lemony color there only just got a color on so that's pretty and then we've got your golden colored gold there and a very deep red color and that is a very dark brown i was thinking it was black but it's not it's a very dark brown color and then we've got your little marquees there they're all faceted in uh, gold which are for these two flowers here so this will be very pretty when it's done and uh, yeah i'll tell you a story sometime about my uh, sunflowers i had bought a sunflower head to uh plant in the garden well to take the sunflower seeds off and plant but um, so, alas it's gone so i'll tell you all about that in another video <laughs> so i'm going to put that chain in with those because i do keep all my 
toolkit separately. Now then, let me just get a little bag. Just grab a little bag for the jump rings because I do put all of my toolkits uh, separately. Um, that they're, they're, Then they're ready for donation. Uh, I have got a lady that's asked me for all my pens. Um, I have seen a lady actually that's made um, a curtain out of all these pens. You know, like one of those fly curtains. Uh, rather than using beads, she's used all the... Uh, plastic tubes from the pens i've not seen it completed yet though so i don't know whether she's actually got it all done or not but it certainly looked very very good when i was uh, watching her do it so i must try and look her up and see if she has completed it right so that is that toolkit as i say if you do need any toolkits let me know okay so that's project number one very very pretty i do like that Hmm, just trying to think, when am I going to fit this in to do it? I will get it done though, because I don't like it. Right, so let's have a look at this one. This is a special drill painting. And it was just a little bit different. It's something a bit different for me as well. I just thought, oh, you know, when something just catches your eye. And you think, well, I'm just going to have to get that and see what it's like. Plus, it looks very pretty. Okay, we've got our basic toolkit, pen, boat and wax. Thank you very much. Oh, we're all special drills. Wow, look at the size of the writing on those bags. That's excellent. Oh, and we've got another AB in there. Look as well, a lilac one. Oh, okay. And this one is a sort of a, a mandala style, but it's got like flowers going down the middle. So it's a bit rainbowy, a bit mandala-y, a bit flowery. And I just, it really drew me to it. They're sort of like, I don't know, they're a bit like an iris type flower or a butterfly or something going down the middle. And it was the colour palette. I just thought, oh, that looks super. Totally my colours, I have to say. I'm hoping there's a hot pink, but you never know. We can live in hope. We can live in hope. It wouldn't be a live unboxing without a hot pink. Hey, what's that? Oh, look, I've got the little pull tag off the bag again. Thank you very much. Sending me your rubbish. <laughs> So it's a 30 by 30. Uh, I think we'll find it's possibly a 25 by 25, but we will have a look. Yeah, 25 centimetres and nine and three quarter inches. Bye. Oops, not wanting to stick there. 25 centimetres, nine and three quarter inches. Okay, it does have a white background, but then to be honest, the front is just so busy that I don't think you could have anything else possibly black but it has to be just a plain colour in the background uh, and certainly I won't be cutting this one out if it was all like this I might have considered it but we have got these gems on this side as well and I'm not cutting out those gems for anything <laughs> my cutting is not that good okay we've got 15 different gems and colours so that's fabulous oh the price of this one at the moment on the website is $4.99 the price of the sunflowers is $7.99 and if you spend over $30 on the website at the moment, spend over $30 and I believe there's a free gift, there's 70% off shipping and then there's various different money amounts off again. They've done this uh, little promotion before where if you buy one thing, you get 8% off uh, and it goes up in increments. My favourite one is to buy 10 things and get 20% off. And I always think, oh, yeah, uh, to be honest, looking on websites, it's always quite easy to just put 10 things in your basket. And uh, yeah, to get 20% off. I mean, that's like a fifth off. That's wonderful. So, yeah, do go and check out all the special offers on paintsomewhere.com's website. But anyway, back to this one. Let's have a look at these gems and see what we got. They all look really exciting. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. So, so, so. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Got a few that I've not had before. I don't like getting new ones. So, we start with just the plain crystals, which is your silver crystal there at the end. We've got your lovely aqua bluey crystal there. They're very shiny, very clear. Oh, look at that one. That one's like a deeper aqua blue colour. And then we've got a nice greeny colour there, like a grassy green. And a little bit of a lime green. And a pale pink. 
and another pale pink and then we've got a lovely honey gold and a cherry red and we have got a hot pink yay we've got a hot pink we've got a hot pink i thought that would have been with the pinks but it's a bit further down so thank you very much and then look at that oh look the pinks wanted to go in there look the hot pinks know that this is another one of my favorite colors lilac -y color and they've gone in there for a party there's just two of them escaped look gone in there so yep so that's the pale lilac -y color gem and it just has that iridescent coating over the top so as it moves you just get the different shades different colors and reflections in it it just makes it a bit more sparkly and then we've got some silver marquees uh, again with an iridescent coating on we have these gorgeous large look at those teardrops they're a little bit elongated and they haven't got any facets on there in red very nice and look at those they were the ones i spotted they're like a, a longer again teardrop with facets and an iridescent coating so we've got like all purples and golds and blues going through those very pretty yeah. and then we've got a faceted green teardrop okay nice limey green so there are some wonderful colors in this very very pretty and it's the sort of thing you could either put onto a card or you could put uh, in a little space that just needs brightening up a little bit um or put it in a set because there's similar ones not you know not like a set of these but there are similar ones that you can get that you could make up a set yourself and have maybe three on a wall or something like that but uh, yeah very very pretty looking forward to doing that one yeah, let's just move you out of the way and then finally just a bit of fun okay this is a full drill and i believe it's around 30 by 30 It's a football, yay! <laughs> okay, flatten it out a little bit. Oops, come on, flatten, flatten, flatten. Right, let's just get it that way. There's a lot of green on this, but it's quite uh, like an ombre effect, it's going from dark to light all the way down. So it's very pretty, very nice. Lot of green. Anybody likes green, they will like this one. Have I got a yeah, I thought I had a gem on the desk. It's like the princess and the pea. <laughs> when I'm rubbing the, the canvases, flattening them out, I can feel something underneath. And it was a little blue gem that's escaped from somewhere. Right, so we have 20 different colours and on this one. Ooh, and it's come all pre-bagged as well. Now that's unusual for a round. So yes, like this. Oh, and yeah, let me just double check. We have, oh my goodness. So we've got the number on the bag, number 20. We've got the uh, DMC number there on the bag as well. And then we've also got the kit number as well. Wow, that's amazing. So yeah, you could just literally start with your bags and crack on and do this. That's wonderful. The only thing it's not got is your actual letter. I mean, you can soon on your little labels or just put a little label on or write on your bag your tcw uh, they're all lovely clear um letters there look all nice capital letters just to go on to your uh, bags if you want to put them on but look how clear the drill field is as well there's no blariness even on that black we've got a lovely white writing that's easy to see and then on the darker colors all the green Really, really easy to see. Excellent. It's quite a nice softish canvas as well, this one. Okay, shall we see if it's a 25 by 25? It is 25 centimetres, nine and three quarter inches by 25 centimetres, nine and three quarter inches. Okay, they're only sort of rough estimates. I don't measure it exactly to the exact millimetre. Uh, it's just to give you a rough idea of what it is. Do you know, I don't think I'm going to take these out of this packet because I think you can see your different colours, all your greens. We've got like a stony colour, um, that gorgeous, I love that like tinned pea green, a dark green. That looks like a very dark green, all your different greens to a little bit of a peachy colour for shading. 
then some greys and then a little bit of 310 black and then some more greeny lemony colours there so yeah we have got 310 black so yeah the third one is that one but yeah excellent do like that but the fact it's bagged up I mean this is great and um, I've actually got it for my uh, great nephew he's absolutely mad on football uh, he plays in a little football team uh, he's only little he's lovely uh, and they're doing quite well at the moment they're winning quite well so I thought with it coming up to the end of the season I might get this one done and because there's such a big uh, part at the top there that's blank I think I'm just going to put his name there um, so that he's got his name on it or even winner um, or you could put number one or something like that on it you can quite easily add your letters in if you just pl plan and i would just well i'm just going to put it in standard black drills because i've got a lot of round black drills as you possibly know if you've been with me for a while if you have welcome back if you haven't hello thanks for stopping by so yeah i'm gonna uh, pop his little name on that one i'll probably just plot it out with a little bit um Maybe with a pen just over the cover sheet so I know roughly where I'm working to. But if you just do block capitals, it's quite easy to uh, just pop that in. But yeah, I think he'll be really chuffed with that, with a football to go on his wall and possibly, yeah, winner or, yeah, I think rather than his name, winner or number one or something like that. Uh, just as a little boost. Uh, yeah. So we'll see. And then we did just get our little toolkit pen butt and wax again. Okay, wow, that's great. As I say, getting them with the bags already like that and your toolkit. You've got everything to get you started. You don't even need a pair of scissors with this kit. You could just literally start off and go. So wonderful for a starter kit or something to just take away on holiday with you. You know, there's not too much uh, to concentrate on because it's all fairly colour blocking. You know, it's all fairly much the same colour. If you like using your multi-places, you'd probably race through this one. Uh, and if you don't, then uh, yeah, you can just put them on singly. I tend to single place all mine. I like to single place because I like to try and straighten them up. Not that you'd think that if you see my canvases, but I do try and keep them straight. <laughs> okay, so we've had a little bit of a mixed bag today. So we've had a full drill of a football we've had a special drill of this gorgeous like mandala flower type oh it's just wonderful i just love the colors and then our lovely little hanging sign to uh, go up for summer of our little sunflowers there with the gorgeous like green so it just reminds me of this, like a stained glass window effect around the outside there with the black lines and everything Okay, well, huge thank you, Paint Somewhere, for sending me these and for sending me the things that I've completed as well. I love them. I love diamond painting and I just can't wait to see what comes out next. I know there are quite a few new designs coming out in these tumblers, so keep an eye out. I might just have seen a couple of Christmas ones coming out, so sorry I said that word in May, but you can never be too early. <laughs> Depends how quickly you diamond paint. <laughs> okay well thank you ever so much uh, for coming along and seeing this if you've enjoyed looking at them with me a thumbs up is always very much appreciated any comments or questions in the comments down below and if you want to come back and see what i get up to next and join our little family then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the old notifications bell that pops up you'll be notified when any of my videos come up so you won't miss anything yay okay thanks ever so much for stopping by and i do hope to see you all again soon bye for now